Hello guys, I'm Ruben from El Vaquero. I'm going to be showing you how to make, or how we make, the Wacajita, which is a mezcal margarita. Uh, first, start off with a small glass with tajin rim. A little bit spicy, not really, it's more like a limey flavor. We use bosal, which is the best, literally. Uh, mezcal margarita, or mezcal. And I did forget the shot glass, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to use one ounce of mezcal, bosal mezcal. Actually, this is for the radio crew, most likely, so a little bit more. <laughs> oh <boy. laughs> Sweet. And then we're going to do, we have our special mix, our margarita mix that we make fresh in house on all our margaritas. This one's really simple as well, so it's just ice. I probably should have done it before. I'm going to stir it up. A little big on the garnish because it got to look pretty. There we go. Wacajita. If you ever wondered how to make a paloma, we make the paloma with pasote. So actually, in our, we have both. We have the regular paloma and the pasote paloma, but the tequila makes the biggest difference. So first, we're going to start off with two ounces of pasote tequila i'm not good at the count so i definitely need to use this <laughs> uh, actually we're gonna start off with salt i can't forget the salt also we're gonna use score grapefruit soda we've used different ones before but we, just, we stick with grapefruit Supposed to add the ice before us again. Add at the end. And because of the carbonation, you're not gonna shake this. You're just gonna stir it. I forgot one one step. <laughs> lime. You can't forget the lime. All right. The pasote paloma. If you're looking for something spicy, but not not too spicy, but a little drink with a little bit of spice, but it's gonna be sweet. But it's, it's pineapple. We have the pina rita, girl. We use the patron for the pina rita. Let's start off with uh, a tahini rim, just like a little bit of limey flavor to it. And we're gonna use two ounces. Are we use two ounces? Patron. So there's a full lime. Use a shaker cup. There you go. One, two. I'm gonna use an ounce and a half of pineapple juice. Oh, put some more on. Let's put it over here. <laughs> there it is. Awesome. And we're gonna shake this up. I hope it doesn't explode on us. parts which is the jalapeno uh you can shake it up with it uh danny our, our bartender told me to muddle it but he told me it comes out really spicy so we're not going to do that because i don't think anybody wants that right now we'll shake it up again oh man you can smell it it's crazy the jalapeno so we're gonna garnish here with some pineapple and limes mm, and that's our pina rita all right guys up next we got the patron skinny margarita because everybody you know wants that summer body even even though it's, it's, it's pretty i guess if you're thinking about that now i mean, think you're too late we have the first we're gonna add one full lime so i got them diced up already so i don't have to do it then we're gonna add two shots of Patron. I brought this little mini bottle. Mm. All right. And this one is shaken. Oh, we need a simple syrup. Or not, we don't use, well, because it's a skinny margarita, we use uh, blue agave syrup. We use an ounce and a half. 
man. Took a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> man. This one has to be shaken. So let's hope this doesn't doesn't pop out on me. And they tune me until this gets really gold. Okay. <laughs> We already have the salted rim off camera. And we top it off with soda water. Just because you want to be super healthy. Can't forget the garnish. We have the Patron Skinny Margarita.